Hey guys, this is Courtney. Welcome back to my channel. We are here with my end of the month of March empties. I am so excited because I got through a lot of vendor wax. Scentsy, not so much, but my Scentsy collection is much smaller than my vendor wax collection. Also, for the um, vendor specific items that I pulled for my melting basket, I got through a lot of those. So if you're interested in hearing how everything perform, what I enjoy, what I would repurchase, all the things, then please stay tuned. Okay, so I try to have everything organized. Um, so we're gonna start with Scentsy because I only got through three bars for, for like the last, like basically two weeks. Um, so the first one, let me do them in the order. I actually pulled up the scent notes. Go me, y'all know I'm hit or miss with the scent notes sometimes. It would just be easier if they just put them on the bars. But anyway, the first one is from the Bring Back My Bar, which was toasted apple butter. This was creamy butter blended with ripe apples, accented with rich spices. Um, I feel like accented with rich spices is not the word. Like it's definitely heavy on the spice. Like it's super spicy to me, super cinnamony. But with that being said, the first time I warmed this, I didn't care for it. The second time I warmed it, I was like, huh, I kind of like it. It's definitely a very spicy apple vanilla scent. Um, and it's strong. Like I got like, uh, I think a couple of days out of this. I don't know if I would repurchase it. I wouldn't be against it, but I also like wouldn't club it or anything, but I did enjoy it. And if it was like in a um, bar bundle, like during a warehouse sale, I would consider. Um, or I wouldn't hesitate because of that scent. Let me say that. Next is Squeeze the Day. Um, I feel like most people recognize or are familiar with this scent, have probably even tried this scent from Scentsy. This is for lemon lovers, as it says. It says this is your signature scent in this tart and true fragrance of pure lemons balanced with a hint of vanilla cream. I really enjoyed this. I don't get like pledge lemon. I get like, like this is definitely like the perfect scent if you've cooked and you kind of want to just get rid of that odor and just have your home smelling fresh again or if you just finished cleaning your home and you wanted to have like a fresh scent i enjoyed this i am even considering like at some point creating like a temporary club just to get a brick of this because i really really liked it and i think it's perfect to have on hand for things like that last scent tropic nectar I warmed some of this yesterday, finishing it off now, so I, ha I know how it smells. Um, this is tropical fruit nectar, gets even sweeter with coconut milk and golden agave. This was a really good performer for me. Like, it doesn't say what kind of tropical fruits, but I get like mango, some sort of citrus tropical fruits, but definitely like a mango, melon. It's really good. I enjoyed this, um, and I actually would consider purchasing this again. I believe it's in the catalog now, I think. I think it is, so I would get it again. So that's all with Scentsy. Now on to Vendor Wax. I actually organized everything into kind of like my one-offs and then tried to group everything together, but y'all, it's a lot of Vendor Wax. This is all my one-offs, and then if I include, let's see if we can do this without messing it up. Look at all of that, just look at it. It's a huge, huge stack, so. All right, let's get started with the first thing. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing is cinnamon sugared donuts and pie crust from Up the Creek Scents. Um, this was from Miss Myla from My Two Cents. This was gifted to me from her. I did not get much out of this. Like I, Up the Creek Scents has um, a harder wax. It reminds me of Southbound's wax, but this just, it was very light, very, very light. So not something I would purchase more of. Um, next, we have Black Currant Jasmine from K's Scented Melts. I still need to actually purchase from K's. This was from Miss Summer Michelle. I think I'm going to purchase from K's like within the next two months because there are some scents I enjoyed. I did enjoy this. This was just kind of like I wanted something relaxing one day to kind of unwind and I enjoyed this. So I would get that again. Next, we have Witchful Thinking from The Pharmacist's Daughter. This was cotton candy frosting, cupcakes at Tiffany's, caramel popcorn, cinnamon sugar donuts. And this was nice. It wasn't anything that like blew me out of the water or anything that I feel the need to like purchase more of, but I enjoyed it. It was a medium performer. Next, we have um, from L3 Waxy Wonders, Apple Orchard, Mac Apple, and Fuji Apple. 
I love this. This is just like the perfect crisp apple scent to me. Uh, and I'm not a big Mac apple fan, but I think the Fuji apple kind of reminded me of like a tart green apple. I loved it. Now my husband, on the other hand, did not. He does not comment often on like what I'm warming, but he was like, what is that? He To him, he said it smelled like bamboo to his nose. And I was like, what? It smells like a fresh apple scent. He was like, it smells like bamboo. I, I don't know. Needless to say, I would purchase more of this in spite of him not liking it and I would just warm it when he wasn't home. <laughs> but um, I don't know if this scent will be making a comeback or not before L3 closes down, but I would purchase more of it. Next, we have from Dess's Homespun Scents, Fresh Bread and Jam. And this is Crusty Fresh Bread and Strawberry Jam in Breakaway Bar. I really enjoyed this. And now that I'm kind of figuring out the amount of desses that um, I need to use, I enjoy it. So like I use a whole breakaway bar in my open concept. I use two cubes and three out of my four warmers and it does good. I get the scent, I can enjoy it probably for maybe like five hours or so I can enjoy it. But this was a nice jammy scent with like hints of bread and I would purchase it again, probably in a breakaway bar. I don't know if I would get like a bigger size, but I enjoyed that. Next from Knowles Farm Scents, we have Berry Fiends. This is blackberry, strawberry, raspberry, heavy cream, and woods. So this is like a woodsy, sweet, very sweet, creamy berry scent. And I liked it. This was not a love for me. The heavy cream and the woods, it was just like really, 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 really sweet. Um, and this is just not like my preferred scent from Knowles Farm Scents. But if you are into heavy cream, and like woods mixed with all the berries, you would probably enjoy this. It just wasn't for me. It performed well, I enjoyed it. Um, I warmed it in my guest bedrooms. It just, I wouldn't purchase this again, but we all know I have so many scents from Knowles Farm Scents that I would purchase again. I don't need another one. All right, from Miss Harper James, this is Sugar Plum Fairy. This is Sugar Plum White Musk and Mold Citrus. This was a nice scent but a light performer for me not something i would purchase again but i do enjoy she's a really pretty sugar plum okay next up from salt mountain milks this is gifted to me from miss mila from my two cents this is tight rope walker which is beach night summer scoop and toasted mallow i didn't think i was going to really enjoy this first off this was poured in june of 2022 and it is almost june of 2024 so I just let you know like the type of shelf life we're talking about here for Salt Mountain Melts. Y'all, I enjoyed the heck out of this scent. And I'm not super crazy about Summer Scoop, but Summer Scoop with that Beach Nights and that Toasted Mallow, oh, this was a beautiful, fruity, beachy, with hints of sweetness from, you know, like the toasted s'mores and like that saltiness of the Beach Nights and that Toasted Mallow. I it, This came together beautifully and I have, considered adding this to my melting basket for a couple of months but I was smelling anything eh it's okay I'm not this is why you got to warm stuff because this to me was so much better on warm than it is on cold and if this is offered again from salt mount melts I would purchase this in a tub loved it okay lastly I finished off a brittle from Sassy Girl Aroma in Hard Candy Christmas. This is cherry, pomegranate, green apple, citrus, light tartness, sugar, vanilla, and syrup. Y'all know how I feel about a scent with that green apple in it. I love it. Cherry, love it. Pomegranate, love it. This was just so good and juicy and fruity. And I know they, it's called a Christmas scent, but to me, this is perfect <laughs> in the spring also. Okay, then we got a couple of scents from Lavender and Speckles. So the first one is Speckles Birthday Cake. And this is birthday cake blended with sugar cookies, pecan waffle, cinnamon, vanilla, and lots of Palo Santo. I am not a big Palo Santo girl, but I really enjoyed this. Beth has a really nice Palo. So I think if there's ever anyone who can convince me that Palo should be in my life, it is her. And I really enjoyed this. This is definitely a repurchase for me. Strawberry lemon zest pie. This is strawberry pound cake with extra lemon zest blended with pie crust and vanilla waffle cones. This was nice. Um, I enjoyed it. I don't know if it's one that, if I got it again, I would probably just get it like in the six pieces. I wouldn't get like a large bag of it, but I did enjoy it. Now this, this, oh, she's a repurchase. This is part of the Gilmore Girls collection. This is Hep Alien, which is sweet cherry lemonade blended with key lime and pink sugar. This 
was so good. This is a, oh, and it's even in the back, y'all, her cherry lemonade. You get that cherry with like lemon. And to me, there's almost, well, there is lime, right? Cause that key lime, you get that key lime and then blend it with that pink sugar. Just adds like this sweetness with like a little bit of, to me, pink sugar is like really pretty. It's sweet, but it's not, it doesn't make something sugary sweet. It just adds, it makes a blend more beautiful to me. But this, that sweet cherry lemonade and that key lime. Oh, this is so good. And it was to me like the perfect fresh. If you want a scent that is fruity, but really fresh, refreshing, this is that scent. I really enjoyed this. Definitely a repurchase for me. Okay, everything else is Rose Girls and Scoopable Wax for me. So I got through three scoops. I'm proud of myself um, because I don't tend to reach for my scoops as much. The first one is Blackberry Jam Marshmallow Cookies. I'm sorry. Blackberry Jam Marshmallow Strawberry Cookies and th the Three Cakes Blend. Um, the Three Cakes Blend, just so I won't have to say it over and over, it's Yellow Cake, Birthday Cake, and Cupcakes at Tiffany's. Um, this was nice. This was a little bit on the lighter side. Their blackberry jam is definitely a little tart to me. Enjoyed it, but this one I would not repurchase. Then this is just three cakes by itself. I enjoyed this. This was like a yummy, delicious, rich, yellow chocolate cake. Um, I don't know if I would repurchase it only because I'm kind of like, I bought so much of the three cakes blends that I feel like I need a little break from them. Now this one though, Cakes by the Ocean Three Cakes. I think Cake by the Ocean is um, Strawberry Pound Cake and Key Lime Pie. This one was good. I would get this one again. I really enjoyed it. Perfect for this time of year. So those are three scoops. Now just the little baggie. So I warmed through a sample that I got of Beetlejuice. I've already gone through a, a scoop of it. I love Beetlejuice. It's a secret fruity blend just right for Beetlejuice. To me, it smells like a delicious grape candy or grape soda or grape juice. So good. Then we had Pink Sands, Gilligan's Brew, and Peeps Cake. This was really pretty. I enjoyed this. I would get this again in like a mini melter bag. Circus Concessions. I am not a fan of Circus Concessions, but this one I did not mind, and it was very strong. I warmed it in my bathroom. It's Mac Apple, candy, co cotton candy frosting, funnel cake, and caramel. Then we have Barbie Land, which is rainbow sherbet, sweet lemon confection, and cotton candy frosting. This was a nice um, fruity scent. To me, that rainbow sherbet, I got that the most, along with that um, sweet lemon confection. Definitely, it, it definitely smells um, lemon forward. I enjoyed it. This was probably like a medium performer for me. I got this back in August, so that doesn't surprise me because Rose Girls, it definitely appears like you need to warm it closer to when you get it versus giving it cure time. So this is, as somebody say, strawberries, which is fresh picked strawberries, strawberry white cake, and strawberry pound cake. I got this in September. And this was nice. I enjoyed it. It definitely smells like a fresher strawberry scent. I don't think this is one that I would repurchase. It was a lighter to medium performer. Um, and there are just other fresh picked strawberry scents that I like more. Then we have Walking the Plankton, which is dragon fruit, black cherry, and fresh picked strawberries. So my daughter said that it smelled like a popsicle. I did get six plus hours out of this. I enjoyed it. I would consider getting this one again. Um, yeah, so, but it was probably about a medium performer, but I could smell it in my home for at least six hours. Then we have Bum Bums and Cookie Land, which is Bum Bum type, confetti cake, toffee, butterscotch pretzels, and cookies. So. This scent, I warmed it in my open concept and I smelled absolutely nothing. And then I warmed it in my bedroom and it smelled absolutely amazing. It was strong, it was delicious, it was sweet, it was wonderful. And so I put on here that this is perfect for a bedroom but not for open concept. With that being said, knowing where to warm it, I definitely would repurchase this. Okay, last scent. Here, you wanna take the basket? Last scent, and then I gotta go decorate a cake with my baby girl. This is this is Blue Hawaiian and Gilligan's Brew. This is Tropical Fruits and Coconut Cream. Y'all, this scent is so doggone good. Now I will say, when I first got this, I warmed a cube like the night I got it, and it almost blew me out my room. Now when I warmed this again in my open concept, it was there, but it was much, much lighter. I would purchase this again with the express intention of warming it when I got it. 
so good. So that is everything, all of my empties. Oh, I gotta give y'all my numbers real quick and then we're done. Um, so my numbers for this month, um, for vendor wax, I brought in 41 items and I knocked out 38 items. <laughs> so I pretty much broke even. So my final number is 211 items. And then for Scentsy, I didn't buy anything. I used up 10 bars. And so now I'm down to 60 bars um, in my possession. I'm proud. I mean, you know, I've been buying from L3. So how could I expect my numbers to be going down? And I'm okay with that. I, I am okay with the amount that I got through. I pretty much got through in total 48 items this month so go me go me go me anyway i hope that you all enjoyed this video i would love to know if there were any scents that you saw or blends that you saw that you have tried and if so let me know like how did they work for you is it a fave for you did it not perform for you i'm curious let me know in the comments um, if you enjoyed this video, I would love a thumbs up and if you like videos like this and you haven't subscribed to my channel Then you know, I would love if you would decide to and With that I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys